This is going to be an at-home manicure video. These are the supplies you're going to need. The first set of supplies that you're going to want to get is file, buffers, and manicure brushes. Okay, so we got a four-sided buffer, a large file, one fine manicure brush, and a thin C-curve file. Let's get started with our next set of tools. These are going to be cuticle pushers and nippers. Okay, so this is my rubber cuticle pusher. It's a um, very, very high quality cuticle pusher. Um, and it has a scraper on the back as well. The next one is plastic, and this is a cuticle remover, but please, please do not remove your cuticles. It could cause fungus, and it can also cause your nails to fall off, or your cuticles to fall off, or your nails to get like this gross disease. So I use this as a cuticle scraper and a cuticle pusher. Now I have a nipper, and as you can see, let me zoom on this real quick, there is a little bit of a curve right here, and this is for getting any hangnails. Okay, let's get on to our next set of supplies. This is going to be our last set of supplies, and this is going to be all liquid supplies. So the first thing we have here is 100% alcohol. Make sure that it is for um, cuts, healing cuts, and sanitizing things. Make sure you don't go pouring vodka or beer on your nails. The next thing is cuticle softener. Make sure you don't apply the cuticle remover that is in this kind of shape. It's kind of, oh, sorry. It's kind of in this um, lotion-y, you guys can see it. It's lotion-y form, but it's really nice. The next thing I have here is um, nail primer. You put this over your natural nail. You do not put this if you're gonna put acrylics on, so make sure it is for only nails. The next thing I have here is Sally Hansen's vitamin E and cuticle oil. So this is the nail and cuticle oil. And that's all the supplies you're going to need. Feel free to add any more supplies. Now let's get started. And these are some extra supplies you may need. Clippers. And this thingamajigger. I do not know what this is called, but this is a file. And I use this to get, usually dust gets in um, like these two the sidewalls of my nails, so I usually use this to get any of the dust out. Oops. So, yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clip the nails if needed. Okay, so I really think I won't need to clip my nails, but let's just try to clip my nails. Okay. Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of clip the little areas right here. Okay, and um, this is really simple to do. Okay. Okay, so after you clip all your nails, um, go ahead and sanitize them with alcohol. Okay, so one to two sprays will be more than good. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna push back the cuticle. Okay, and if you're freaking out right now and saying, why don't you use your primer? You said it before you do anything. Now, we just clip the nails and apply the alcohol. We're not putting anything on our nails or like buffing them, so that's okay. So I know some of you are probably freaking out like, what are you doing? Okay, so now we're gonna push back our cuticles and scrape. Make sure you always get your side walls and go in and scrape excess cuticle off in circle motions.
Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and just do it with this one. And this one works a little better. And this is definitely not all the cuticle pushes you can use. I know there is some ballpoint ones that you could use that are very high quality. Or the scoop ones. So yeah. Okay, now I see a little bit of cuticle right here. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is now apply our primer before um, we buff the nails and file. Okay, so I'm picking up a little bit of primer. Just enough. Don't apply this perfectly, I'm just applying it like this, but make sure you get it all over the old nail because you're going to end up rubbing this anyway. Okay. Now go ahead and rub. Going side wall to side wall in circle motions. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start buffing the nails. Okay, so now I'm going to buff my nails. Make sure always to go one way. Never do this unless you're filing your um, C-curve. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and file along here so we don't have like these little crackles in our nails. So I love using this to kind of clean up any lines, anything made by that, by using the buffer. Go ahead and get a quick zoom in here. And you could use this to scrape the cuticles as well, as needed. Okay. So now using the file side, we're gonna go ahead and file. And I'm gonna very weird thing and the tripod's kind of close, so I'm gonna go ahead and start here and go right up. Okay. Okay. So this is optional, but I love to do this. Now we're going to go ahead and our, apply our cuticle softener to each of the nails. Oh. Okay, and you might be asking, like, why are you doing this later? And the reason why is that we're going to soak our nails in hot water. And this is very optional, too, because not, not a lot of people can find cuticle softener. So, instead of ordering it, so, yeah. And I ordered this off of Amazon. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get any cuticle softener out of under our nails. 
or we can wipe with a damp towel. Okay, so now I'm going to go prep the water and soak my nails in there. Okay, so now I got my hot water here, and I'm going to go ahead and dip my fingers in. And I'm going to do this off camera because it's a kind of a boring process. I'll be back when I return, or I'm, when I'm done. I added a little bit of soap to kind of clean my nails. Okay, so now I'm just about to take my nails out. Okay, they're coming out. Okay, they're out. So these are my nails straight after. As you can see, they're a little soapy, but they look really good and cleaned. Okay, so now after doing that, I'm going to take my nails and go ahead and dry them off. Okay, so now the next thing I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and file a little more just to kind of seal in the filing and I'm just saying a tiny bit okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get any of the debris off my nails or my manicure brush And now, I'm going to go ahead and apply my cuticle oil and clip off any hangnails. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my cuticle oil. And always remember, you can never get enough cuticle oil. Well, of course, less if you drink it. And if you just saw my fancy method of kind of pouring it on um, or kind of getting it on the brush, what I do is I dip it in two to three times and then I do this. Okay, so like I said, I dip in two to three times or more, <laughs> several times. Okay, the next thing I do is I push my pinky and my um, index finger or ring finger, whatever you call it, and I only scoop the sides, leaving the bottom full because... You don't want anything to come down here from the, and like drip off the side, but you want this to be nice and wet. Okay. Now you go ahead and rub that in. and you apply one to two sprays. Just to get your nails nice and clean. Okay, and there you have it. Nice, manicured, and clean nails. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, you can always subscribe, like, share, and comment. Bye.